Happy Father's Day to all the fathers among us. I invite you to stand as you're able and join us in singing Witness. <laughs> forward our Christ light. Join us in singing the light of God. <clears throat>
let's just hold that image of the light of God shining forth from you, shining from everyone here as we enter into prayer. Holy Presence, the light, the one light shining through each one of us. We are united. We are one, uh, one beautiful shining light. I'm so grateful for this day, grateful for this community, grateful to come together, grateful for um, how we're extending beyond this space and this room, and uh, grateful for all the friends joining us online. Grateful for the one life, living, breathing, shining, moving forth from us. We call this time blessed and joyful, and so it is. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, my name is Joshua, and I am your platform assistant today. We welcome you to Unity of Salem today in the same warm and loving spirit with which Jesus greeted his friends. We greet you knowing that no one is here by accident or coincidence. We are each an essential part of the energy that is Unity of Salem, right where you are along your life path on your spiritual journey, you are welcome here. I also want to send a special welcome to anyone who is new and here for the first time. If there is anyone new, I invite you just to raise your hand or your finger just slightly and an usher will, will notice you and bring a packet of information so you can learn a little bit more about us. There's a pink slip on the packet if you fill out a portion of that and you can put it in the offering that basket goes around later and then we'll have a gift for you. And also anyone online, uh, welcome if this is your first time. Um, you can go to our website at uh, unityofsalem.com to learn more about us and also there's a phone number there for our office and you can call during working hours and uh, Trish will probably answer the phone and she's uh, delightful and we'll have lots of information to share with you. So welcome all. I have a few announcements to share with you today. Would you be willing to serve as a greeter one Sunday morning? Please check in with Clay or Trish about joining the team. Uh, it's time to start gathering your do donations for our yard sale. There is a schedule for when we will be receiving them on your bulletin insert. It takes all of us to make a yard sale a success. Please consider signing up to volunteer. You can sign up in the Information Center through the link in our weekly email or by calling in the office. If you're interested in more information about our community activities, you can sign up on our website or in the Information Center to receive our weekly email. Our prayer chaplain today is, for today is Joanne. She will, <laughs> she will be available for one-on-one -on -one prayer on our sun porch immediately following today's service. Let's join together now and sing When I Walk. I do invite you, if you'd like, to stand. The song is a bit of moving and grooving, but as, uh, most of us are seated. We still move and groove in our chairs, so what's ever comfortable oh. for you?
We now join together in affirming the Unity of Salem mission statement. Unity of Salem nurtures spiritual growth in inclusive, loving community. And our vision statement. Centered in spirit, we create a world of unlimited peace, love, and joy. And our core value, inclusiveness, spirit-led, compassion, love, joy, and integrity. I now invite Clay up to share a reading for today. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. The word today is rhythm of life. And our affirmation is, my heart is attuned to the rhythm of God's wondrous universe. I am vibrantly alive. Life has a rhythm, although sometimes it may seem that I am out of tempo with those around me or that the world is out of sync with me. In such moments, I become still and listen for the rhythm of life. This rhythm is reflected in my heartbeat, in my breath, and in the sounds of my steps. In tune with the spiritual nature of the universe, I discover that the rhythm of life is evident in the song of a bird and in the voice of a co-worker or a family member. God is everywhere, and in God's universe, the rhythm of life is sounding a beat that I follow as I go through my daily activities. I am an instrument of God through which the sacred rhythm of life is emanating. And from Isaiah 55, 12, For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song. So we have a little bit of a sound experience for you. And it will feature our singing bowl here. And first I just want to let you know that this gal can sing. And <laughs> if it feels a little too loud or uncomfortable for you, just raise your hand and I'll damper it and just play it a different way. Right? Otherwise, we'll just let her sing and um, you can feel her, perhaps from where you're sitting. I definitely feel the energy. Um, a big thank you to Joanne Icovino. Um, she's giving our community this uh, singing bowl for us to use. And she explained to me that this one is uh, tuned to the eighth chakra. If some of you are familiar with the, the chakra energy system, but a line of energy coming uh, through our torso. And uh, often we study the first seven going through our bodies, and this one is attuned to the eight, so it, which reside above our body, and sometimes called the soul chakra or soul star chakra. So I invite you as you listen to this sound experience that um, if you would just like to consider that space above your head and consider um, just the connection of your soul coming into this body and your soul purpose. Um, or just uh, come to your heart space and we, it's our hope and invitation that you feel blessed through all of this. So we've titled the song, Be Blessed, because this bowl sings the, the tone, B. So that's all, all of that. And we are creating this as we go along. So, all right.
Did you feel it? Thank you for allowing us to try something new. And today we're going to um, play. So uh, I invite you, if you feel comfortable and would like, uh, if you feel a particular instrument uh, drawing you, uh, to come on up in the next couple minutes while I'm talking and choose an instrument to play. We're going to do a little drumming today, uh, or also other rhythmic instruments. We're going to talk about rhythm and vibration, and uh, just let the vibration of life flow through us, flow through uh, an instrument, flow through, flow through our vocal cords, and it's going to create a beautiful field together today. So I invite you at any time that you want to uh, come up and uh, grab anything. And for those of you at home, you dig out your drum at home, uh, or your pots and pans, uh, or a bucket that you've got out in the garage, but clean it and uh, bring it inside. Uh, or a mason jar you can fill up with um, some raw beans or rice and put a cover on it, and you've got something to shake. So. I hope everyone has something to play with today, and those of you here too, you can uh, swap things out and try something different. We'll do about five or so chants together. So uh, I first want to talk a little bit about sound healing, just to scratch the surface on that, and like for us to think about as we're using our drums and using our voices as instruments of healing as well today. And um, I mean, when I talk about healing today, I talk about healing uh, really um, very broadly. So we can uh, be talking about healing within our body, um, mind, emotions, uh, spirit, really the healing of remembering our oneness and our connection with the spirit and God. So um, just briefly about sound healing. I'm going to give us an equation. If you uh, know me, I love math. I love numbers. And a good equation just brings clarity for me. And then from that, we can bring in the artistry. So the equation I have is from a sound healing pioneer, uh, Jonathan Goldman. And he says, sound healing equals frequency plus intention. <laughs> One more time. Sound healing equals frequency, and that's the sound, plus intention. So that's the energy behind the sound. So that's something I'll encourage us this morning as we're making lots of sounds, that we're uh, thinking about the uh, energy behind the sound that we're, um, that we're producing. So for our first... Um, chant together, we're going to sing Vibrant, which is a chant that our dear Leslie wrote, and last month our choir sang for us, and I just really appreciated the, the heart and intention behind uh, this song for Leslie, and she uh, shared just her great desire for us all to know and be rooted in how vibrant um, alive beings we are. And vibrant in joy, and vibrant in health, and in abundance. And so I want us to hold that uh, just feeling in our body of being so alive in the spirit, and just the, the aliveness of God and His vibrations moving through us. And just hold hold on to that. Uh, for each of our chants, I will start a, a drum beat, and and then start uh, our chant. So I just want you to know, wherever you're at and how, however you participate this morning, you are blessed and honored. You're just delighted that you're here and bringing your energy. So if you just want to drum or if you just want to chant and sing, that's fine. Uh, or if you've got it all together, that's uh, fine too. Also, if you just feel uh, you'd like to hum, that, that's a wonderful um, uh, way of using your vocal cords and adding to our field this morning. So I think I'm going ready to start. So with this chant, it'll just be a steady beat. And with each chant, as we progress, um, I get just slightly more involved. OK, yeah, anyone. Last call for this chant? <laughs> sure. 
and the lyrics will be up here. But again, if you just want to focus on what you're doing with your drum, that's totally fine too. And uh, but these lyrics are so fun and flow off the tongue really easy. That um, we all maybe chanting away. All right, I'll stop again. Join in. to think about a little broader as we um, go into our next chant. And I'll inter introduce the idea of entrainment. And so entrainment, that's where one vibrating object uh, comes into sync with another. And um, there's a famous demonstration of this done by a physics um, an inventor in the 17th century, Christian Huygens, and he had invented the pendulum clock, so like our grandfather clocks. And um, he had all these clocks in his shop, and he started them all up, and they were all swinging random, and he left for the evening and came back the next morning, and all of his clocks were in sync. 
It's a it's called entrainment. Uh, you can check it out on YouTube. There's lots of uh, videos. I've watched several, and one was great. There are 64 small um, metronomes, and a metronome will go tick, 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 and a musician will use it um, to practice their music that they're playing at the right tempo, speed. So for 30 seconds, it takes this hand. You see them starting all these metronomes, 64 of them. And they're, so they're all going at a random pace. And within a span of three minutes, they had all entrained. They're all in sync, and it got very loud. Chick, 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 as you see all these metronomes going together. That's so neat. Um, but this doesn't happen just with objects. It happens in our bodies as well. So that's one reason why the moment when we're feeling upset and our heart may be racing, we're encouraged to take a slow, deep breath. As your breathing starts to slow, your heartbeat will also slow and will entrain with your breathing. And your brain waves will also slow and entrain. Um, this happens not only within one body, but within uh, other bodies. So, yeah, just a simple example of two people walking down the street together, that their uh, pace may entrain. Uh, it's quite common, ladies that uh, live together, their monthly cycles entrain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so two people being uh, near one another and just uh, in, in each other's presence and in each other's space, and I don't mean sitting next to each other, each on their own phone, but I mean like sharing space and being in their presence their breath can entrain, their heartbeats can entrain. So here's this interesting power we have of um, connecting with one another and uh, impacting one another. I want to read to you a short passage uh, from Marianne Williamson, uh, her book, Everyday Grace. This comes at the end of her book, and she talks a bit more about that idea. Um, she, she speaks of this extraordinary moment of global transformation uh, when we'll do more than just love. That's what she says. We will join our love and harness our love. We will pool our resources of forgiveness and imagination and grace. And in time, we will collectively experience what physicists call phase lock, a phenomenon in which individual oscillating rhythms hear the beats of many, many hearts around the world, fall into a deep pattern of energetic resonance. We will form a community of consciousness, a collective love that is humanity's next step in our evolutionary journey. Love is not meant to be alone. It reaches out to find itself at every opportunity. I just want us to think about that. Um, the kingdom of God is within, and the more and more we know that and bring that kingdom of God, that resonating, that vibrating love everywhere we go within the world. That's the um, next place we're headed as far as our evolutionary journey. A uh, quote from Charles Eisenstein, the philosopher, I really enjoy listening to him speak, and he says, each spirit experience of love nudges us toward the story of interbeing. So today I really want us to uh, think about just our, our interbeing and our connectedness. He says that's the only story um, that fits into um, these experiences that we have and defies the logic of separation. So we sure seems like through our eyes we see a whole lot of separation. Um, that feels like a strong story for us human beings. And uh, when we look through those eyes of our heart, so we can uh, see and start to be a different story of love and connection. Um, speaking of our connection, our oneness, our connection in the one, in God, the great I am, um, I want to just read a lesson from The Course in Miracles. So the Course in Miracles has been a, a really important um, part of my spiritual practice, and i um, been walking with this for about seven or eight years now, and if you're not familiar with the Course in Miracles, miracles might sound a little um, strange or surprising, but in this Course, a miracle is a shift in perception from fear to love. 
So uh, there's a lesson for each day of the year, and from uh, Lesson 156, I walk with God in perfect holiness. So you cannot walk the world apart from God, because you could not be without God. God is what your life is. Where you are, God is. There is one life, the life you share with God. Nothing can be apart from God and live. Yet where he is, there must be holiness as well as life. <clears throat> what lives is holy <clears throat> as God himself, because what shares God's life is part of holiness and could no more be sinful than the sun could choose to be of ice, the sea elect to be part, apart from water, or the grass to grow with roots suspended in the air. So I walk with God in perfect holiness. I light the world. I light my mind and all the minds that God created with me. My one life we share together. So as we um, go into our next chant um, called Love Heals, we're going to use a heartbeat drum beat. We just want us to connect with our heart in that space of love and just hold that intention that we are this love that we are bringing out into the world, the kingdom of love, the kingdom of God. It's better if I'm over here and you can all see.
going to take a few moments and honor our fathers today. So this is a time. Trish made some <laughs> bookmarks for everyone in honor of fathers, so uh, they can be passed out now. Great, thanks. And I just want to invite a little time of sharing if, if uh, there's a word or phrase that comes to mind um, that describes the blessing you've received from a father in your life, uh, your father, a father figure, earthly father, heavenly father. I just um, invite popcorn if anyone wants to share. I'll, I'll start with one. The, um, um, my husband Jeremy is just a beautiful father to our kids, and the word that comes to mind for me is playful. He's wonderful to play with our girls and just brings that lighthearted, playful spirit to our family. Mm. My dad was the encourager, and he told me I could be whatever I wanted to be. <laughs> Provider, gentle, and acceptor. Mm. Healer and <clears throat> lover of nature. My, uh, my dad is also a great encourager to this day. He is always finding ways to lift people up around him. Um, also, he is so open-hearted to learn new things, uh, especially on his spiritual journey. It is really a blessing to me how he shares that. Uh, he's currently experiencing a health challenge, and um, through that journey, he's opened up just new, uh, new practices. And he has a daily practice of Tai Chi Cha and Reiki, and he's experienced just some amazing changes in his physical well-being because of those. Day. I remember how much my dad loved my mother. Oh, mm. dad loving mom. Mm. So um, I want to invite us to chant and hold this intention of opening our hearts to, um, to something new that God may have for us today. Like something I wanted to share, I was just so grateful for my father, for all of our fathers, as well as family, friends, community, people we have walking in our lives who are sharing their experience of the divine and sharing their rhythm and inviting us into greater transformation. So um, open my heart and you just, to, just to hold that open heart in the space and to spirit as we chant together. experience of vocal tone. So just allowing uh, your voice to be your instrument. 
So there's no words for this one. We're just gonna sing oh, oh. and oh, oh. If oh, if that feels a little open and scary, you can close your lips and just hum. Hmm. There's no, uh, no particular melody. You just let your voice go where it would like to go. And <laughs> um, the intention I want us to hold through this time is uh, holding, uh, affirming uh, the dignity and sacredness of all human beings. Um, and holding today being Juneteenth, a holiday, uh, also called Jubilee Day, and the day where we celebrate a turning point in our country, uh, celebrate that we decided slavery will not be happening in our country anymore. We just decided we're going to treat people equally, regardless of um, any outward traits. We still have work to do in this area. I'm just clear with hate crimes that have happened in our nation. Um, also, slavery continues in our nation and around the world. And, it's called human trafficking today, and it's pretty big business. Um, I'll share. That was one of the uh, issues that was really on my heart, and I spent two years in northern Thailand working in the anti-human trafficking efforts and uh, worked with a couple of organizations that are still there today working in those efforts. So just in, our, in our vocal toning, I just invite us just to hold the sacredness of humanity. Yeah, uh, I will also have a steady beat, and you're welcome to use your instruments through this. However feels right for you. This is, for those who don't need a lot of structure, this one flows. Slow breaths, just in and 
out even slower. Inhale and exhale. And allow your breath to settle into your natural rhythm. The rhythm of life in you. Capital L, life. Inspiration, creativity, possibility, life. Feel your body in rhythm, at ease. Hold and alive. Aware of your breath. Heart beating, where you are vibrating, creating, relaxing and deeper into the rhythm of life, trusting you are held and supported. Ah, breathe, wholeness, oneness. Vitality and abundance. Open to ride the wave, the rhythm, the dance of spirit. Open to the eternal hum that's present in this moment. Listening now to the music of spirit present in the silence. Now I invite you to join me in the sound of oneness, the sound connecting your true self and source. The sound thought to encompass all sounds, holding the intention of our loving oneness. I invite you to join me in a chant of OM. And as you open your eyes and return, bringing your loving energy into this group experience. I see you all in the light and I'm honored to be in community with you. I now invite you to bring your attention to the prayer box. Some have put prayers with requests within that box and I invite you to mentally put any prayer requests you'd like. And then let's just join our hearts in prayer together. Connected in the one, we are living, moving, having our being in the one source, one creator, one energy of love flowing in us and through us. And we join with each prayer of gratitude and thanksgiving, knowing every joy and every good is from the one source. We join our hearts with those who are experiencing pain, hurt, loss, anxiety, fears. We claim the presence of God with us. God, the very ocean in which we swim day by day, never alone, but buoyed up by power, by love, by wisdom. We live in oneness and live in gratitude for the energy of life we share. The growth and unfolding we're here to experience, the waves of highs and lows and the depth of love carrying us through it all. So grateful. That's how it is. Now's the time to share our tithes and love offerings. And just recognize Unity of Salem wouldn't be possible without your tithes. So as the ushers come forward, I just invite you to hold your gift in your hands and instill it with love, that great multiplier. 
And we bless the gift and the giver, remembering how much God is blessing us as we're moving in that rhythm of the dance of abundance. So join me in our offering affirmation. Divine love flowing in, through, and as me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all I receive. Thank you, God. coming in online and through our website. We just bless all the gifts of time and volunteering and sharing of talents and skills. We bless this community, affirm our commitment to generosity, to gratitude, and to caring for one another in our world. Amen. Amen. I invite you to stand with your hands on your heart if you'd like, just holding that in, uh, intention and that affirmation of knowing we are blessed.
connection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Thank you, God. May you walk, may you dance in the rhythm of life, vibrant life.